Hi everyone, this is Jenny. I'm coming to you today with a haul from Streetman Candle Company. This is something I just received today and um, I'm really excited to share with you. This is my first purchase ever from Streetman Candle. And so I'm going to set the camera down here and I will start going through what I got in my package. First of all, there was a couple business cards. Here's the first one. This is their regular business card and it's super cute. Love it. Um, they stopped taking custom orders right now. I think the last day was December 16th. Um, but you could, they do have some ready-to-ship items. This is a card for their Simply Sensational Sampler, which they do every month. I did not sign up for that, but maybe some month I might because I noticed today they posted on Facebook that their December sampler, they're including a cute little mini, like, cake loaf that I think it had like a heart stuck in it or something and it was just it was adorable so I was kind of jealous of the people that are going to get that and then what I thought was really cool they include in the package this um, little it's the size of a business card so you can see that and it's how to get the most out of your wax and um, it's 75% soy which I love soy wax I love the color of soy wax too it's just so creamy looking and it talks about cure time and what um, type of warming plates to use or warmers to use. And then also has recommendations on quantity of wax to use. So for the two ounce scent shots, they recommend starting with a quarter of the wax, um, which if I can get away with using just a quarter of their wax, that's gonna be awesome. Um, we will have to see. It'll de probably depend on the scent as well. Because there are certain scents that I definitely like to have a stronger throw and then others maybe a lighter throw. So, um, And then also the packaging is just so cute. If you can see the scent shots, this was great because they were in the box like this. And so lids weren't popping off and falling everywhere. And they just are packaged really cute. And there's a ribbon as well as the little twisty tie. So when I actually finally, well for this I'll open and just take out the scent shots. But for the other, the larger items, when I pull off the ribbon, I'll be able to just use the twisty tie, um, unless I decide to repackage it some other way. But anyhow, um, one of the things that Streetman Candle Company is known for is their snap sticks. So I did get a package of snap sticks, and these are really quite large. Um, I've noticed when I've been watching YouTube videos from other people, I'll get my package and sometimes everything seems smaller than I expected. Um, with this, everything is very large. And these, I'll show you the label. It's really cool about their labels. Let me get it to focus. Um, it gives the ounce, so eight and a half ounces. And I paid, these were $8.99. So you're paying just a dollar and pennies per ounce, which I think is a great deal. It also has the pour date, which is great because I think they recommended, what, a week or two after the pour date, two weeks after the pour date. So that's great so I can, um, I'll know I don't have to add my own date to these. And then it also has a little bit more information about um, just taking care of your wax and using it properly. So anyhow, I got one package of the snap sticks because I just wasn't sure what to expect and I wanted to try it out. So I got in a scent that I was pretty sure I would like. Um, but so far they seem pretty cool. Once I break into them and actually use them, what I like about this is you can determine how much you're going to use. Um, by hopefully just easily breaking off a chunk. So I really like that control over the quantity that you're going to use, um, especially if you want to blend or something. So I got lavender sheets, and the description for lavender sheets, it's sweet vanilla, sorry, sweet lavender, vanilla, coconut, cream, and caramel. That just sounded so fabulous to me. Um, I'm going to try not to open these and just sniff them through the bag. But what I like from sniffing, cold sniff through the bag, I don't get a ton of sweetness, which I actually really like, because um, this is something I got to use for nighttime, for when I'm sleeping, or I want to relax. But it's very fresh. It's just, it seems to be a very good blend of the different scents. So I'm really excited to, to be able to try that. Then I got four of these really cute bunk cakes, and they're really large. They're six ounces each. And this one is Strawberry Love. Let's see, get it to focus. But Strawberry Love, let's see, I have the scent description here. It's lavender, vanilla, and strawberry. And so I like lavender, if you could tell. 
And what's really nice about this one is I do get this, like the scent of the strawberry, but it's very, um, um, it's very like mellowed out. So it's not overly sweet. And I get a little bit of the vanilla. Um, just smelling through the bag. I'm having, I don't really pick up the lavender, but that's okay. I'm just smelling through the bag and then that'll probably come out when I actually melt it. And then what's the matter you, which I had heard about the scent from other YouTubers and, um, I wanted to try it. The description is wild berry mousse, caramel, and cream. And it smells delicious. I get the berry note. I, the caramel really stands out in this, but it's a very smooth caramel and not overly sweet. It smells delicious. It almost smells like you're having like um, an ice cream, like a like a car ice cream with caramel or something on it. It just it smells really good. So excited to try that one. And let's see, barista. And what was really nice, oh my goodness, Heather, super, super nice, great customer service. This is one that when I submitted my order, immediately after I like submitted it, I remembered that I forgot to order this one, that I wanted the barista in the spunk cake. So I sent her a message on Facebook and we spoke and she added it to my order, which was very, very sweet. Um, and so I really appreciate that because I know a lot of vendors won't do that. Um, and I understand why, I mean, if they're getting a lot of orders, it's very hectic and to have to worry about adding on and it gets complicated, but customer service is such a great thing to have, especially from these vendors that we're using and spending lots of money on. So I was very impressed by that. So the barista scent is caramel, steamed milk, cream, and a shot of espresso. So I love coffee scents, but I love it when they're mellowed out by like cream and I, a lot of these have caramel. I love caramel. And this just smells really good. It just smells, it's like the perfect balance of the caramel and the espresso and the cream. Um, so it's not overly heavy on any one of those scents. And then the last bunt cake is fluffy pink clouds. And this one is cotton candy, vanilla frosting, strawberry, and raspberry. They're so cute. And it smells delicious. It smells sweet and fruity. And the juicy strawberry and raspberry. Mm, I really get a lot of the raspberry note. But it just smells so gooey, so sweet. And not too, so sweet, but not too sweet. It's not like fake sugary, overly sweet. So um, really smells really good. So then I got a bunch of scent shots. And um, I'll try, I'm going to go ahead and open these scent shots so I can go through the scents with you. And I'll try to do this as quickly as possible. Um, okay, let me get these out here. And jet bag over there. Well, sorry about this. You know what? I'm going to pause the video really quickly and get all these scent shots out and I will be right back. All right, I'm back and um, I have all my scent shots pulled out of the bag and stacked up here. And one of the things I noticed as I was pulling them out is, oh my goodness, they're so full that the lids aren't even closing. Like I pop them closed, but they're like popping back off really easily. You can see the indentations in the wax from where the inside of the lid is hitting them. So these are these are stuffed pretty full. Um, so that's really cool. There's no skimping on the wax in these. I received three um, samples or testers or freebies, I guess we can call them. They're not really testers, they're freebies. Um, the first one is orange and strawberry. And I like all the informations on these labels as well, including the pour date, your weight of the wax scents, you know, very good. And that smells delicious. It smells like fresh orange. I'm not getting a lot of the strawberry, unless maybe the strawberry is just adding a little bit of sweetness to it. But it smells delicious. So I love when I get the freebies because a lot of times they could be scents that maybe I wouldn't pick out for myself otherwise. Although 
I would have liked orange and strawberry anyways. It just didn't happen to be one of the ones I got. Blueberry muffin. And that smells really good. It actually reminds me of a blueberry cobbler scent from another vendor that I really liked, that I got a tester of, or sorry, a freebie of. So I'm excited for that because I really like the other one. Um, holiday fruit punch. Mm, that's interesting. It has a little bit, it smells like a very mild fruit punch, and then it has a little bit of like a floral undertone to it. Something that I'm not sure what it is that makes it's the holiday part. It might be some kind of a, I don't know, I'm not getting really like a Christmassy kind of a scent. It's not spicy either, but it smells really good. So those are the freebies. So thank you, Heather, for those. Those are fabulous. Um, she's probably not listening to this or watching this, but Vanilla Bean Noel. It's one of those scents that I just love to get from all the vendors just to try it out. And it's very light on cold sniff, but um, it smells just, to me, it smells just like the Bath & Body Works version. It smells really good. Um, lemon and Rose. And one of the main reasons I got this is because um, the bathing garden, I've heard so much about people's, the bathing garden, um, from other YouTubers, that the bathing garden has like a great lemon curd and rose milk. I have no idea what that one smells like, but... I just thought I'd get this and see how I liked it. Oh, that smells good. Um, rose is not something that I would typically pick out on my own. And um, it just seems like a pretty mild rose and a little bit of tartness from the lemon, not a lot. So we'll see about that. <clears throat> um, frosted sugar cookies. Which I think this is just sugar cookie with buttercream frosting, if I remember correctly. Yes, sugar cookie and buttercream frosting. So definitely get this, I get both of those, the sugar cookie and the frosting. Um, sorry, these lids are not on here. <laughs> um, simple times, and simple times, sorry if I'm moving too fast. Oh, it's not going to focus. Simple Times is All Things Bakery. Cookies, breads, cakes with a touch of molasses. And that's what it smells like. I get a little bit of a spice note, like a little bit of a cinnamon. But not a lot. It's a really nice scent. So that smells really good. And this is the perfect time of year to have that. And Pink Sugar. This is another one that I like to just try from the different vendors. And I think everyone knows what pink sugar smells like. And it smells exactly like pink sugar. So it's a perfect match for the actual perfume. Um, sorry, this doesn't like to focus on everything. And pink sands, which I've never smelled before, but I believe my understanding is that it's a dupe of Yankee Candle. That smells really nice, I've, and I've never smelled it before, so I don't, and the description, unfortunately, on um, Streetman Candles' uh, website, it does not have the description of what that is. It just says it's a dupe, so I don't know what the description is supposed to be. Honey, pear, and sugar, and that should be pretty self-explanatory. And I definitely get all three of those notes, and it's just a nice, mild honey, and the pear, mm, a sweet pear, it's really good. And Parisian Morning. And this is warm pastry drizzled with vanilla cream and sprinkled with spices. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, it smells, it has the spice in it, is not a lot. It's not overpowering. Um, it smells really good. A little bit of cinnamon. And it smells like nutmeg or cloves, maybe kind of a very good fallish scent. Um, wildberry mousse, and I think everyone's heard of wildberry mousse. Mm, and that smells really, it's very creamy. Oh, that smells good. Very, the berries, the berries and the cream, that's what I smell in that. Um, I don't know if there's supposed to be caramel in it too. I'm not sure. And I don't think, 
I don't think her website had a description of it. No. So, um, Sweet Sugar Fluff. And Sweet Sugar Fluff is... Sorry, I'm just trying to find the descriptions. Oh, I do not have it written down, so I'm not sure. Let's see. I will smell it. It smells kind of like marshmallow. It's pretty faint smell. I'm definitely getting marshmallow and something else a little bit fruity. Hmm. But it smells really good. Let's see, my pile's here. Strawberry sugar. <clears throat> and strawberry sugar is pink sugar and strawberries. And I love pink sugar. And I love strawberries. Yeah, so I'm getting I'm getting more of the pink sugar, but not as strong as when you smell the pink sugar on its own. So I'm I'm just getting a little bit extra sweetness in this, I think probably from the strawberries. The strawberries aren't sending out a lot to me though right now. And tinsel, and this is another one I've seen on a lot of vendors, um, that a lot of vendors are selling right now, and it's one that really intrigues me. This is the first order that I've received with tinsel in it. I have made other orders um, with tinsel as one of the um, what items I've purchased, but I just haven't received them yet. But it's pomegranate, strawberries, raspberries, a hint of peppermint leaves, and fresh vanilla. So I love peppermint, but on its own, I, no, it's too strong. I really like it to be mellowed out with something else. And I do love fruit, but it's nice. I like when there's a little bit more sophisticated scent when the fruit is like mellowed out by something else, like by the peppermint or the vanilla. Oh, that smells really good. And I really, you get the berries. You know, the pomegranate, I'm trying to get the scent shot out. Oh, the peppermint, it's just a mild, mild peppermint. And then there's like a bit of creaminess from the vanilla. And then you just get all the berry scents mixed together. Oh, this smells fabulous. I hope that it smells even better when I melt it. And if it does, I will be buying that in bulk. Sinus relief. And this is another scent that... I know a lot of vendors carry and I, I like to try it from all the different vendors. And this one, ooh, there's, here, I'm going to show you guys this. This is, can you see, let's see if that'll focus. See the oils on that? Ooh, ooh. ooh, there you go. Good stuff. Oh, that smells so good. So her sinus relief, Heather's sinus relief, has, it has camphor citrus and eucalyptus and oh it smells delicious on cold sniff so that's something that um i get a lot of sinus headaches and that's something that i love to use because it just kind of helps clear out my sinus headaches a little bit so serendipity and i think everyone knows is familiar with the scent description for serendipity and this one i'm getting a lot of cherry and i've heard other people say that about different serendipities so we'll see I'm getting mostly cherry on this one um, but it's fun I love to try different ones and we'll see how when I melt it and I'm not opposed to cherry I like cherry but it is very sweet strawberry zucchini bread it is not wanting to focus there we go which I think is pretty self-explanatory Ooh, and it reminds me I'm getting wax everywhere <laughs> Oh, it smells really good. Get the strawberry and the zucchini bread. But this zucchini bread, I've smelled others. This one has a little bit more of the like real zucchini scent to it, but in a good way. Ooh, I think that's what I'm picking up on. But it smells really good. It smells like you're baking zucchini bread. Um, and just the sweetness from the strawberry. Okay, sorry, almost done. I know there's a lot. Flirt. And flirt is playful blend of raspberries, melon, citrus, jasmine, and vanilla. And this is another one I picked out because I want to try to get that more sophisticated scent of um, berries or something sweet mixed with something not as sweet, like the jasmine and the vanilla and the citrus. Okay, I'm getting a lot of jasmine. 
from this. That's mostly what's standing out to me right now, and a little bit of the citrus. So we'll see when I melt it how that goes. And my pile, let's see, let me move things around here. Oh, almost, only five more. I'm sorry, I think this video is getting really long. Um, strawberry rhubarb. Ooh, this smells nice. Oh yes, it smells like real rhubarb. I don't know how many people have ever cooked with rhubarb. I have, and I love it. And that smells exactly like strawberry and rhubarb. <laughs> so I'm really excited to use that one. Grapefruit and mango steam. Oh, this is delicious. You get the, you know, the citrusy tartness of the grapefruit and the sweetness from the mango steam. Love it. Love it, love it. I'm so excited for all these scents. Green Apple Hard Rock. This is one I've heard from other YouTuber, YouTubers that it was supposed to be really good. And it's just sweet sugar and green apples. Yeah, and it smells like sweet green apples. It has a little bit of like um, a, a just the tiniest, tiniest bit of a perfumey scent to me um, on cold sniff, but I don't know if that's just because of being with the other, the other scent shots in the bag or if that's it, but we'll see when I, when I melt it, what I think. Fun in the sun, and that's oranges and berries with a kick, and I don't know what the kick is. I get mostly the orange right now. And kind of um, a little bit of like a fizzy note to it. Hmm. I get mostly the, the oranges, a little bit of sweetness from the berries. But I love orange, so that's fine with me. And then lastly, ice cream scoop bread. So I don't know what the description is supposed to be. But it smells like ice cream and baked bread. Freshly baked bread. That's it. And it smells great. <laughs> so... Um, sorry that this video was kind of long, um, but thank you for sticking through it with me. And um, I will, when I start melting some of these, I do have to wait for them to cure. Although based on the pour dates on some of these sh scent shots, I might be able to melt some of them. Like this one, the mild, wild, wild berry mousse is from September. So I may be able to try this one out. I won't focus, but um, so when I do some of my reviews on the melts, you know, very informal reviews, just what I think of it, I will let you guys know what I think. So thanks for watching. Bye.